It has been rumoured that DJI are planning to release the successor of the DJI FPV drone, or will it be a more budgeted version targeted at more beginners that actually want to get into the FPV world? We're not completely entirely sure, but we're actually going to look over some of the latest rumours around this actual new drone that DJI are apparently be making. So all this information I actually got from techradar.com, so if you do want to go check out the article, I will leave a link in the description below if you are interested. But anyway, let's get straight into the article. As you can see, the latest DJI drone is meant to be called DJ Avatar, and this is just everything we know about the rumored drone however this was published in june 13th 2022 so it's actually been over a month old this article and we've not had any rumors soon but we'll go through it anyway because it might actually be announced very very soon we're not actually too sure if you actually scroll down here it says dji is going to follow the launch of the dji mini 3 pro with more of an unusual drone uh, if growing rumors are correct the dji avatar as recent leaks have called it appears to have be a cine whoop drone with three inch propellers which means it could be capable of shooting dramatic indoor footage so what's a cine whoop drone apparently they're small models that usually usually have a built-in propeller guards and are designed to fly in tight spaces or over people this means the avatar will differ from the rest of DJI's current range which are mainly designed to shoot in epic outdoor footage. And it says naturally this means the DJI avatar has been tipped to have a radically different design to other drones and some apparent leaked images appear to have it uh, back this up. We can expect to see some large built in prop guards and potentially some new FPV goggles to match the avatar. And then if you scroll down here it's just everything you come so far and then got, this is all the latest leaks uh, all in this article. So. Apparently, according to this guy on Twitter, uh, we can expect the DJI Avatar to launch sometime in July. Well, we're currently at the 20th of July and we've not had any uh, announcement dates or any leaked rumours uh, for it to come out this month. So I highly, highly doubt it will come out in July as there's only like 10 days left. However, you never know. They could have a secret scheduled announcement uh, planned uh, later on this month, but highly, highly doubt that. But anyway, here's actually some leaked vi uh, pictures of the DJI avatar here. So you see it says DJI there. And then like the article says, it's got its four built-in uh, like guards to the propellers. It looks very, very different. And I don't think it looks that good, to be honest. I think the other drones are, that, uh, are a lot better looking. And I don't actually think the DJI FPV drone was the best looking either but this one doesn't look the best. It's got DJI there and then all these QR codes and everything here. And that's the first actual one that was tweeted on June 2nd. So well over a month ago. And it says that this is on about uh, the June 15th. This is for the launch of DJI RS3, which has already happened. And then it also says, so far there's been no leaks or rumors at the actual price. Cine Whoop drones are typically home built hobbyist affairs that come with GoPro mounts. And then that said, uh, this pre-built models like the iFlight Bumblebee, can cost up towards a thousand pounds so there's no guarantee that it actually might be cheap with the avatar almost certain to include built-in camera and some fpv goggles it could potentially come to a similar price as a dji fpv so it could potentially actually be uh, more expensive or even the same price so it might not be an actual targeted app but uh, beginners because uh, with if it's going to become with fpv goggles then it might still be over like a thousand pounds so maybe it's just a uh, version two of the dji fpv because it might have some better specs or anything like that but anyway carrying on to this other leak uh down here if you carry on uh talking about it's radically different both of the leaks have come from here again and then there's a uh, literally the one i literally just showed you to be honest which is a bit strange coming up again one feature that's less typical of those kinds of drones is a built-in camera and gimbal. With today's Cine Whoop drones, you usually have a GoPro mount without a camera. A DJI Avatar appears to have a DJI camera module and one that could, according to Deal's drone, deliver similar video and image quality of the DJI Mini 3 Pro, which is pretty insane to be honest, considering how good the DJI Mini 3 Pro actually is, like with its 4K 60 frames per second, and I think it has 120 frames per second and 2.7K. Uh, it's got a bigger inch sensor as well than the DJI Mini 2. So if it does have very, very similar camera and video footage of the actual DJI Mini 3, then this FPV drone could be really good. And it could actually be the first drone where a lot of people don't really attach GoPros or DJI Action 2s to the actual FPV drone itself. They might just use the camera in the actual drone itself, which will definitely appeal to way more people because obviously on top of this drone, you'll have to buy a GoPro or even any action camera really as well. And they're like three, 400 pound, depending on which one you can get. So obviously that's a lot more money. So to the mass audience who don't want to use GoPros as well on top of it, and obviously if we crash it, that's two things that break as well. 
then having its own camera that's good enough to actually battle against GoPros and that will definitely be a big win, uh, obviously for a lot of people because they'll actually maybe think about buying this drone more. But anyway, back here uh, again, leaked images also reveal a pretty large battery and were backed up by a separate leak on June 4th of renders that showed an identical design, slightly less, less convincing though, as it was a uh, accompanying image of some apparently new DJI goggles. Uh, which appear to simply be edited uh, image of the FPV goggles v2. It says still it does not it does sound likely that the DJI avatar will come with a new twist on DJI's FPV goggles which could also support a head chase mode according to another tweet from Deals Drones on May 15th. Exactly what this will be isn't clear but sounds like a mildly terrifying form of subject tracking. And you've got some more details down here so it'll be compact and weighs about 500 grams it can fly indoors the photo quality is much better guess that of the mini 3 pro is the same so the same like camera of the mini 3 pro greatly improved battery life manual mode is not supported what's going on here whoops oh i'm just going on here uh, head chase mode vibration function touchpad for glasses menu and then glasses can be connected to the phone and if you scroll down again the new goggles will apparently connect directly to your phone and the DJI avatar has also been tipped to come with a built-in vibration reduction. Whether this is referring to gimbal-based stabilization, electronic stabilization like DJI's existing Rocksteady or perhaps a combination of both isn't clear yet, but it could potentially be a part of DJI's attempt to offer equivalent to GoPro's real steady uh, software and then he says real steady is used by most FPV drone pilots to smooth out bumps and jitters that are common on small lightweight drones because it uses uh, gyro metadata from GoPro action cams everything like that talking about rock steady that uh, real steady sorry that it might have uh, another be uh, benefit of the cine whoop drone could be the inclusion of intelligent flight modes like quick shot there haven't been any uh, leaks about this yet but it's something we'd expect from something in the form of the DJI avatar and then they just talk about an early verdict to be honest and then it just carries on going down there talking about it and that's really the end of the article and they said they'll actually uh, provide an update if there's any more leak news and since that one over a month we've got no more leaks about this drone at all when a dji mini 3 pro drone uh, was leaking there was leaks every day pretty much this one has stopped for a month so have they postponed it have they cancelled it who knows to be honest but we never know, we could get it this month, which is very, very highly unlikely, but I'm sure we might actually get it later this year, potentially next year, who actually knows. But the DJI Avatar is coming, I think. There's some leaked images of it. So let me know what you think. I will be picking one up if it comes out. Will you be replacing your DJI FPV? Will you be the first person to buy uh, an FPV for yourself? Leave a comment below with your thoughts. But anyway, that's the end of the article and that's the end of the video anyway. So thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, hit that like button, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you guys on the next video. See you later.